Hello and welcome to today's video. We're going to be talking about interior and exterior angles of polygons. So what that means is we're going to be talking about the difference between interior and exterior angles and then we're also going to be talking about how to find the sum of all of the interior or all of the exterior angles and there's going to be formulas that help us calculate that. So you're going to want to make sure that you have those formulas down in your notes so that you can refer back to them when you're trying these problems on your own because we're also going to be looking at how to find a single interior exterior angle. This lesson has a lot of vocabulary with it and so you just want to make sure that you copy that down so you can study that in a later time and really get that down so that these problems become much easier for you because you understand what the question is asking. So I'm so glad that you are joining us today, and let's go ahead and take some notes. Just as a quick review, here are our polygon names based on size. And this is just a little bit of vocabulary. You need to know these in order to understand the question. So just in case you forgot one, make sure you have these copied in your notes. And if you need to look any of them up, then you know those are the ones that you need to go back and study so that you have them in your head and we'll make these questions easier and faster to answer. You also need to know the difference between regular and irregular polygons. Regular polygons are ones where all sides and angles are congruent. And irregular polygons are if that's not the case. So it's either one or the other. You can't be both, can't be neither. And so here are some examples of the different polygons of regular and irregular for you to see. You also need to know the difference between interior and exterior angles. So interior angles are the ones that, even if you extend the sides, they're the, those original angles that are inside the shape. And here they're highlighted in red. Exterior angles are is when you draw, continue the shape's sides and continue to draw. It's those angles outside of the shape that are created. And most of the time when you are talking about exterior angles, if you're talking about a group of them, you're talking about extending the shape in one direction. So if this is your shape, you're talking about, okay, I'm going to extend this one, and I'm talking about that exterior angle. So since I've already extended this side, for this side I'm, angle, I'm going to extend this side. And so that's going to be this angle. And then here I need to extend this side and that's going to be this angle. And so when I'm talking about the sum of all the exterior angles, I'm talking about these three. Or if you were to extend them the other way, I'd be talking about these three. And so you're not looking at all six of them. It's the ones that are adjacent to the interior angles. So we're going to need to know how to find the sum of the interior and the exterior angles. So to find the sum of the interior angles, we use this formula. You take the number of sides, which is what n represents, subtract 2, and then multiply by 180. And then the exterior angles, they all add to 360. So as you can see, I'm just talking about one exterior angle on, that is adjacent to the one interior angle. I'm not talking about both of them at the same time. So here I have one, two, three, four, five interior angles. I'm talking about the sum of the five exterior angles too, not 10. And so here you can see, no matter what the shape is, those are always going to add to 360 degrees. So now that we have all of that vocabulary down in your notes, let's go ahead and answer some questions. So this first one says, what is the measure of each exterior angle of a regular quadrilateral? So regular quadrilateral means four sides. Regular means that all the sides and angles are the same that they're all congruent, so a regular quadrilateral is actually a square, and it wants to know what is the measure of each exterior angle. Well, you might know that because we work with squares a lot. However, if you didn't know that, this is how you would need to figure it out. So we're talking about an exterior angle, 
So that means the sum of an exterior angle is always going to be 360 degrees. But I need to know the measure of each one of those. And so since it's a regular quadrilateral, each exterior angle is going to be equal. So I have four equal exterior angles. So that means I can take 360 and divide it by 4 to get my answer. And 360 divided by 4 is 90, which is going to be my choice A. In this problem here, they give us a figure that is a regular polygon. So that means all these sides are the congruent and all these interior angles are congruent. So what is the value of X? So here, I, X is part of an expression for an exterior angle. So once again, I need to find the measure of each exterior angle. So I know that the sum of exterior angles is always 360 degrees. I just need to find out what each one would be. I need to find out how many exterior angles I'm going to have, which is the same as the number of sides. So I need to count up the sides, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 sides, it's a decagon. So that means I'm going to take 360 and divide it by 10, which is 36. So that means that this angle here is equal to 36 degrees. So to find out what x is, I'm going to have to solve that equation. So I'm going to have to solve 4x minus 4 equals 36. So I add 4 to both sides. These 4s cancel, and I'm left with 4x equals 40. And then I divide 4 on both sides, and x equals 10. Which is going to make my final answer B. Now we're going to look at exterior angles with an irregular shape. So here we can see the shape in this figure. The sides are different lengths. So given below is an image of a pentagon-shaped stone that is used for constructing a wall. The sum of the exterior angles of A, B, D, and E is 319. So what is the measure of exterior angle C? So that's the one I'm looking for. I already know, I know that if I take all five of these angles and add them up for their exterior angles, that's going to equal 360 degrees. However, I already know that if I take A, B, C, and E and add them together, that's going to give me 319 degrees. So then... I just need to find out what that last piece is for C. So I can take 319 plus C, and that has to add to 360 degrees. So if I just subtract 319 from both sides, these are going to cancel. And 360 minus 319 is 41. So the exterior angle of C is equal to 41 degrees, which is choice A. Now we're going to be looking at interior angles. So remember, the sum of interior angles is equal to the formula M minus 2 times 180. So this question here wants us to find the measure of one interior angle of a regular polygon with eight sides. So our first step is going to be to find the sum of all eight of those interior angles. So to do that, we know it has eight sides, so that makes it an octagon. But we're going to take 8 minus 2 times 180. 8 minus 2 is 6. 6 times 180 is 1,080. And that's the sum of the interior angles. So to find the one interior angle. I know that it's a regular polygon, so I know that all the angles are the same. So I have to split 1,080 eight equal ways. So to do that, I just divide it by eight. 
and 1,080 divided by 8 is 135, which is choice B. In this problem here, we're given a regular polygon, and it wants to know what is the value of x. This time, x is part of an expression for an interior angle. So first, we're going to have to find the sum of all the interior angles, and then find the measure of one interior angle, and then we're going to have to solve an equation. So this is a three-step problem. So for our first step, to find the sum of the interior angles, we take the number of sides minus 2 times 180. That's our formula. So we need to find the number of sides. And so you just need to count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So it's going to be 9 minus 2 times 180. 9 minus 2 is 7. 7 times 180 is 1,260. So that's the first step. So I know that if I add up all nine of these angles, I'm going to get 1,260 degrees. It's a regular polygon, so I know that I'm, each of these angles is congruent or has an equal measure. So I need to divide this into nine equal pieces. So to do that, my second step, I divide it by nine. 1,260 divided by nine is 140. So I know that this interior angle here is equal to 140. <clears throat> and so my last step is to take that expression and set it equal to 140 and solve. So I'm going to subtract 4 from both sides, and that's going to leave me with 4x equals 136. And then I divide 4 on both sides. And when I do that, I get x equals 34. So that means choice A is going to be my final answer. This next example says Mary gave her father a glass paper read as a gift like the one shown below. If the sum of the interior angles of A, B, C, E, and F is 595, then find the measure of the interior angle of D. So I know if I add them all up, except for one of them, D, I'm going to get this 595 degrees. So if I knew what all of them were, then I could just subtract that 595 off, and I would be left with just what this one angle measure is. So I can use my formula of n minus 2 times 180 to find the sum. I just need to know the number of sides, and that's as easy as counting them up. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 sides. So that means I'm going to have 6 minus 2 times 180. 6 minus 2 is 4 times 180 is 720 and so that means I have 720 total and I know all but one totals up to 595 so I'm going to go ahead and subtract that from 720 and when I subtract that I get 125 as my answer so that's what's left over to be the measure and the angle measure of angle D which is going to give me a final answer of B. In this last problem, they tell us about a polygon that has 10 sides, has the falling interior angle measurements. So they give us 9 of them, and then the 10th one is X. And we have to find out what is that value of X. So we have a formula that tells us what the, all of these angles should add up to, and that formula is N minus 2 times 180. So I know that this polygon has 10 sides, so that means I'm going to take 10 minus 2, which is 8, and multiply it times 180. 8 times 180 is 1,440 degrees. So that means if I add these all up plus x, 
that's going to equal 1,440. So I'm going to go ahead and use a calculator to add up these other nine numbers. And when I do that, I get 1,354. So that means these nine angles is the same as 1,354. And so then I just need to add X to that to get to 1,440. So to find out what X is, I'm going to subtract 1,354 from both sides. These ones cancel. And when I do that subtraction, I get an answer where X is equal to 86. And so that means my final answer here is going to be A. Thank you for joining us today, and I hope you learned something new.